In today's short episode, we're gonna learn about animals. Well, not really. We're gonna learn about the walrus operator and how you can use it now to simplify and improve your Python code. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back guys for another episode of Code with Josh. For obvious reasons, I'm Josh and I'm stoked to have you guys here. Real quick, do me a favor, hit that like button and subscribe. That really does help my channel out reach a wider audience. Now, today's episode is all about introducing you to a new operator in Python. Well, it's not new, but it's one that many of us don't actually use. It's the walrus operator. And I'm gonna share with you guys how this improves the readability of your code and it saves space Space in our overall programs, which makes Python run faster. Guys, real quick before I dive into the episode, the first link in the description is my weekly Python newsletter where I write about content requested by you guys breaking down advanced concepts into simpler terms. So head on down, first link, check out, and come join my Python newsletter. So let's jump into the video. Why you're all here, let's talk about walruses. Okay, before you say walruses are funny looking animals, just wait, okay, hear me out. I'm gonna cover how and why you should use the walrus operator and when you should be using it. Okay, so really the walrus operator is this little guy. It's a colon with an equal sign. This really simplifies our code because it allows us to assign values on the spot and create them within an expression. Where do we use expressions? We use expressions inside conditional statements, as well as while loops. So I can create it on the spot within my expression and then use it at some point in that block of code. Now this is great because this is gonna reduce redundancy and it keeps our code more tightly packed, more concise. So it's saving you time and it's saving you space. What's not to love? Additionally, right, Python's gonna be able to read that, interpret that faster. But we want to keep readable code. So don't, don't nest these. Don't overuse the walrus operator because it's still a new operator, right? And sometimes it becomes really hard to understand what's even going on here. So here's a very basic code example, our first block of code. And really, I created an input, x, and I'm going to enter some text. If my input is greater than five, five characters, it's too long. I'm going to print it's too long. So the only reason I'm making this input is just to use it in my expression. It seems a bit redundant. Why? Like that's, that's just an extra line of code. There's so much better that we can do here. So really what I can do, I'm going to, I'm going to copy this and I'll give you guys a before and after shot. Okay. So we have this, but really we don't need that anymore. I'm going to come down here in my condition. And I'm going to say X, let's use the walrus operator. So I'm creating X right now on the spot. I'm saying X is a variable. The value is the input. So enter some text. Okay. And here, right, I have, I have now made that. So X is equal to this variable and the length of X is greater than five. So now I've changed that from three lines into two lines. If I run this code, let's just type a long word. I don't know. Do you guys have one in mind? Uh, I'm just going to type a bunch of letters probably. Okay. Walrus is an animal two. Your input is too long, right? So I didn't, I didn't need the variable for that on the outside. I just used the walrus operator. Okay, let's take a look at another example of how this could be used. All right, next up is I have a simple code here that calculates the square root. Now, yes, you could use the math module for this, okay? But uh, yeah, this is just calculating the square root. And if the square root is greater than 10, then we're going to print this off. Now, how could I use the walrus operator here to reduce all this extra code, right? What might that look like for us? Well, Right here in our condition, I want to create my variable square root because that's being used repetitively. I don't, I don't need that. So inside here, let's, let's make, I'm gonna, I'm gonna create the variable, let's call it square root. I'm making that variable now, walrus sign. 
Okay, so square root is a variable, and what's the value to this variable? Well, n, to find the square root, we'll use our exponents, 5. All right, that's the same thing as this. There is no need for that line now. So that calculates the square root is greater than 10. Okay, now, in my block of code, I can use my variable I made square root with the uh, walrus operator. If uh, I run my code, you can see right there is no output. Okay, so square root is greater than 10. Let's just bump this up. Let's say 1,000. Okay, run your code. There you go. The square root of 1,000 is 31 point this big number, and it's greater than 10, right? You could just really quickly jump in there, round that down, right? Because I didn't need to see all that extra numbers. Let's just round it down, keep three decimal points. There we go. This is working. Okay, uh, very good. I got one more example for you guys. Let's check it out now. In our final example here, I just have a list here of random elements. Well, not really random, right? I did make these. Okay, code with Josh, like the video, really long line, and subscribe. We're looping through that, and if the element in the list is greater than 10 characters, I'm just going to print off really long line. So if I run this, what do you expect to happen? A few of these are going to be triggered. There we go. Three of them. Code with Josh, like the video, really long line. Those were greater than 10. Subscribe is not over 10 characters, so it's not triggering that, okay? Uh, I'm just going to change this to say like. All right, let's keep that short. Now two will be logged. So this is great. It's all fun and games again. But really, this is also redundant. So where in your code could you use the walrus operator? What are we creating on the spot in using? Well, right here, line length. Okay, well, I don't actually need that. Okay, so let's just make it here on the spot. I'm going to delete line length because that's not needed. I can use the walrus operator, right? In our expression now, let's make it. I'm going to say here line length. Okay, let's make that as a variable. So walrus operator. Um, what is the value of the line length? Well, the length of the line. Okay, so anywhere that that's greater than 10. Okay, when we run our code, you can see that we're going to have the same exact output, right? I'm going to see code with Josh in really long line. Boom, right there. This is great, guys. This showcases how we can use the walrus operator to save space in your code, speed things up, and reduce redundancy. And there you have it, guys. That was an introduction to the walrus operator, a few examples on how we can get using it right now. So head on over to your code, look around your code, and try and see if you can refactor portions of it to actually include this operator to save you space in your programs. Drop a comment and let me know your thoughts, any questions you have. I love engaging with you guys down there. And remember, the first link below, as well as all the other links, those are resources dedicated to helping you grow in Python. That's all for this week's episode of Code with Josh. Until next time, Python crew, I'll see you then.